am Singer Chandra and it's great to be part of this Partick uh, community growing project. I didn't even, I haven't even been to the allotment, but I've, I've come uh, to hear about it from Jane, who works in the annex, and um, she saw uh, the mosaic I'd been making, and I actually said to her, if you ever know um, of a project or something you, could, you would need a, a mosaic teacher for, please let me know. And she's very, very good in taking up any idea. So. Um, and then before you know it, it's organized. So there you go, there it was quite soon after I said that. Marvelous work, really. <laughs> stained glass first before I did mosaic and it came about because I was going through a very difficult time in my life and then picking up some artwork really helped me actually to make a bit more sense of what was going on and particularly working with the broken pieces of glass so the idea was it was like hey the broken pieces of your experience to not discard them but to use them again but of course glass had the nature of being quite sharp and painful and that's the same as when you go back to painful experiences but to think like no I can handle them and I use them in a way that is that's making something more beautiful uh, out of it yeah so it's not sort of wasted we here with the project is that we collectively work on five of the so far we've been working on five pieces and I work so much on my own it's really lovely to work with whoever comes and you have to let go of um, control a bit because you cannot exactly control how other people work and but you also have to sort of guide give enough guidance so people know what to do For me, uh, uh, what was really new and for most people here who've come to the workshop is that it is outside and particularly in the middle of winter and it's been so lovely actually. We've been quite lucky with the weather but um, to see people come dressed up in many layers and coming out on a Sunday afternoon to do, to play with bits of, of tile. <laughs> have a bit of a laugh but really cold in the meantime but <laughs> but uh, loving it nevertheless and I would have n never thought actually that I would go out in the middle of the winter for hours doing this so and I feel quite um, inspired afterwards tired yes but really enriched by the whole thing and uh, yes you hear this banging which is quite well, good to hear because this is continuously going. People love the smashing up of the tiles. It's another anger management course. <laughs> it's it's uh, three or four things for the price of one. So it's a, a, a no-lose situation. It's win-win. But this looks amazing. This is so yeah, well this is, there's, there's another two panels in there. So it's just going to go on the back of the compost. It's going to be a wave here, a big wave. Lovely. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah. So I we'll think probably need to get more from, from more weeks. 
see what we can do by next week. Great. Yes. Because then we can grab those three. Oh, it's eight. What was that? Better. Yeah. Better well, well done. For you. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we came to make this piece collectively because, well, we were looking at all the materials we had and then it was obvious we needed to do a seascape because of the colours we had and it was a collective decision which was really quite good. And then that very first workshop we got so carried away, but not only carried away, really inspired to think like, oh, we could do lots more of this. Just beautify the city, not just the allotment, we could do mosaics left, right and center. And what a joy that would bring, yeah, just bringing color and texture and I don't know what. Anyway, we, we, we would be happy to, to, to cover the whole of Glasgow. <laughs> Goudify. Ha ha ha!